So you might remember back a couple of years ago, Nintendo's president at the time before his passing was talking about taking Nintendo into a new direction. And they were saying over the next 10 years, they were going to be investing in products that were going to improve people's quality of life. Now, during this time period was also whenever all these tech companies were coming out with wearables and they were showing these things off at all these tech shows where people were wearing watches that would have like their health rate and things like that on it. Uh, so most of this was all related to your health. So one of the big projects that Awada was excited about Nintendo creating and bringing to the market was a sleep sensor, which, I mean, doesn't seem like it's in the realm of Nintendo. But this was actually supposed to be launched later this year, actually at the end of March. And the idea was that this was going to estimate your fatigue, and then it was going to deliver it in a way that was supposedly, you know, fun for you, or or in the Nintendo way is the way it was described. So it was going to be a wireless sensor that would sit in your room, and apparently you wouldn't need to wear anything. It would just know whenever you were in the room. It would know when you were sleeping, and then it would study your sleep, and then tell you, I guess, whether or not you're fatigued in the morning, uh, which I don't know about you, but... Uh, I've went my entire life and never felt the need to roll out of bed and look at some screen to tell me whether or not my ass is still tired. I mean, it's just kind of something like I just know, you know, hey, I'm ready to get up or no, I'm just going to sit here for a little bit longer. Uh, so, I mean, if you needed advice to tell you if you're still sleepy, I, I'd say that you got bigger problems on your hand. Uh, but the new president of Nintendo says, nope, not going to do it. So they had an investor Q&A, and nobody even asked about this project, which was a little weird since, I mean, it's getting ready to come out here in a few weeks, supposedly. But the new president just brought it up on his own. He said, quote, We do not have the conviction that the sleep and fatigue theme device can enter the phase of actually becoming a product. We no longer have any plans to release it by the end of March 2016. So they pumped all this money and research into this project and then decided, well, nobody's probably going to want it. So, uh, which seems like somebody could have told them that, you know, early on. I mean, we could have discussed it a couple of years ago if you wanted to. But you know what I want from Nintendo? And it's, it's so simple. Just give me a console with a freaking normal controller. I mean, that, that's really it. And they're always trying to innovate and come up with new, new things. And look, I, I am glad. You know, people are always talking about we need innovation, we need new things. I like that a company is always trying to innovate. But at the same time, you know, the saying, don't fix it if it ain't broken. And so I haven't owned a Nintendo system in years because they did all this so-called innovating. You know, they brought out the motion controls, and then uh, tablet-like screens on your controller, and then, you know, toys that look like stuff that we used to get uh, from McDonald Happy Meals back in the day that are now, I guess, DLC. Uh, this stuff, I mean, I know that it sells well in some audiences. I care nothing about it, and I know I'm not the only one. Just let me play Nintendo games like every other platform and consoles with a normal controller. And then I might actually buy it. So all eyes are on the Nintendo NX. If you want to read more about this sleep machine that's not going to happen, links down below. Stay tuned to videogamesandnews.com for the latest headlines. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.